Hey guys, uh, we're going to be looking at my newest tier 10 toy to play with, the T110E4. Just got this thing last night. Um, if this video goes up the same day as the uh, like uh, garage video, uh, I got it last night and I was talking about uh, me, be me getting this tank really soon, which I wasn't lying, I got it. <laughs> Um, this is kind of a, this isn't going to be a fat, like a, like a long review, this is just going to be like more or less a review to let people know that, uh, that I just really wanted to do a review of this tank, hurry up and get it out, because I'm going to do this kind of this three part thing, or not, it was more or less a two part thing about the E3 and the E4 and the differences and why, which one you should pick and why, because I'm going to do like a double review. That the first one's the E4. Um, things about this thing, it's 254 millimeters of hull armor, same as the E3 and the E5, uh, 76 on the side, 30 on the rear, they're the same on all the things. Uh, this, uh, has a turret, which is different from the T110 E3, and I'll go into more depth about differences in between that and those two videos. Well, yeah, there's going to be two more after this about these two tanks. Now, gun. 155 millimeter gun with 295 at like pin with the AP rounds, 375 with the uh, APCR, four, uh, 3.08 rounds per minute. I almost said four. Uh, 850 alpha, uh, 2.9 aim time, and a 0.37 accuracy. Do not play this thing as a uh, like. Do not play this thing as a uh, tank destroyer like camping at the back sniping because. That is not what this thing is. This is a kind of a mixture between the E3 and the uh, E5 and being a heavy tank. You play it like a heavy tank, you'll like it more. Uh, the turret traverse is slow, but it only turns 90 degrees left and right. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, now we're going to get into the game. So... I don't recommend this tank to, well, I do recommend this tank to people that have the E3 or the E5 or want a mixture between the two. This is a good, like, way to see the difference. Like, you get kind of the armor values from the E5, kinda. Don't, like, hate me, because I'm just saying kinda. Because it's 203 on the front of the E5's turret, but this tank is wider on the front of the turret, so it's kind of an easier spot to hit. But, um... The E4 gets the gun off the E3, and if you want the gun, you get the E3 and the frontal armor because there's a bunch of give ups, like trade offs between each of the tanks. Now uh, we get on Abbey at night with this pretty decent game. I'm gonna go right, not because this guy told me to, but because I can, and I'm a strong, independent black woman, and I can do what I want. Just kidding. People are gonna hate me for that. I'm not restarting the thing just because I said that I can do what I want. This is America. You guys don't hate me. You guys know that I have a sense of humor. So, the last tier 10 that I got before this was the uh, 268. Uh, probably one of my favorite tier 10 tank destroyers, if not my favorite tier 10 tank destroyer, simply because of that crazy um, pin that it has on its gun. I like the Jack Pantry one or two. It's my, it's my first. It was my, it was my tank, it was my tank virginity. I can, I can say what I want also. It's my videos. But, uh, yeah, that was my first tier 10, and I'm still going to back up. That's probably one of my, like, one of the best in the game, even though people say that it's not. And to those people, I say you're wrong. Hello. Hmm, are you bounced? Oh my lord, good sir. You need to reevaluate your life situations. You do not bounce off of an Amex 50B's turret. 
That's the first AMX 50B that I've seen in a long time. Ever since these things came out, the first day French tanks came out, I saw an AMX 50B, and that was probably like one of the few times. Ammo rack, boy. And the object's gonna smack him. There we go. Get him, big boy. And he's gonna get that 50B too. Dude, if I can ammo rack this guy. If I can ammo rack this guy. If I can. Or not. Did I really just do that? Oh, where did you come from, boy? Oh, where are all you guys coming from? I'm kind of just up here. Alright, we're gonna do this again. Taking them one on one. That heavy tank really needs to come up here. Not you! No, I wasn't talking about you. You get back down the hill. You get back down the hill. Just go ahead and off you so I don't have to worry about that crap anymore. Uh, come on. Are you guys gonna move up or are you just gonna sit back here and let me get shot? Uh, bounce. Wiggle your turret when you can. Not saying you gotta do it every single time, but I mean, it's a good thing that you do. I should really be shooting these two guys, but I mean, those are just getting the tanks out of the way. Come on. Alright. Tracks ate that shot. The E5's backing up. I'm just gonna go ahead and go. I'm not gonna let that guy get another shot. Alright. Come on, whatever the heavy tank is, please kill this SDI. Not blaming you for that, but I mean, you tried. He's gonna reload, he's gonna reload, he has the BL9. But he's dead. And that is how you hold a corner in an E4. And this is how you get stuck between an AT-15 and a hill. Make sure you do it this the same way if you want to get stuck, and if you don't get stuck, you're doing it wrong. Dude, his E5 had every chance in the world to come around the corner and, like, kill me, and the SDI could have went with him. Uh, they could have easily killed me. They could have did it. But, uh, they were scared of my, like, alpha damage. That's the only way I can explain it. They were afraid of the alpha damage. Help! Dude, get out of the cap. You still aim for me. You don't even care, do you? Yeah, two six eight right there. And he's dead. Medium tanks over there. The tank destroyer is right there. There's only two of them left. What is that? E. That's E4 from earlier. That I was playing with. See, this is the thing I was talking about, like, accuracy-wise. You don't treat it like a tank destroyer, like a normal one. Guys, you don't have to cap. I missed. He's just rushing. Ah, he didn't get the reload. Well, we won. Uh, that was a pretty good game. Uh, I'm gonna, I should do another game, but I said that I was going to do uh, multiple videos about these two tanks, so hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, the, this isn't going to be a fast tank review, but uh, 
Look at that high caliber stuff. I guess I did pretty good. Yeah, I did all right. Um, six thousand, four kills. I did all right. Um, anyways, guys, if you want me to go more in depth about the two tanks, I will. Uh, just let me know. I'm going going to explain more about the the E3 and how it compares on E3 versus E4, which one is better. So. Uh, Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, uh, see ya.